Hi everybody, welcome to this day in history. Uh, this is where we look at what goes on this day in history. Um, it is February 6th, welcome to it. And we're going to go and get started right away with AD 60. Uh, the earliest date in which the day of the week is known. A little bit of graffiti in the city of Pompeii uh, recognizes this day as Di Solis, which is Sunday. In modern reckoning, this date would be a Wednesday. Interesting. All right. In 1579, the Archdiocese of Mal uh, Manila was made a diocese by a papal bull with um, Bishop Salazar being the first one. In 1649, the uh, platent King Charles II of, king of England and Scotland is declared King of Great Britain by the Parliament of Scotland. This move was not followed by the Parliament of England nor the Parliament of Ireland. In 1685, King uh, James II of England and the Seventh of Scotland becomes king after after the death of his brother Charles II. In 1778, the American Revolutionary War. In Paris, the Treaty of Alliance and the Treaty of Commerce is signed by the United States and France. 1788, Massachusetts becomes the sixth state to ratify the Constitution. In, 17, in, six, in 1806, too many numbers. In 1806, the Battle of San Domingo, British naval victory in the, against the French in the Caribbean. In 1815, New Jersey grants an, the first American railroad charter to John Stevens. In... 1820, the first 86 African-American immigrants sponsored by the American Colonization Society depart New York to start a, sell, a settlement in present-day Liberia. In 1833, Otto becomes the first modern king of Greece. In 1840, the signing of the treaty, and I will totally mispronounce his name, signing of, the, of a treaty, Establishing New Zealand as a British colony, and I'm sure um, our all of our New Zealand friends will give me crap about that. All right, but it is a signing today. New Zealand is a British colony. 1840 that happened. In 1843, the first minstrel show of the uh, United States, the Virginia Minstrels, opened in Bowery Amphitheater in New York City. In 1851, the largest Australian bushfires in a populous region in recorded history take place in the state of Victoria. In 1862, forces under the command of Grant and Foote give the Union the first victory of the war, capturing Fort Henry, Tennessee, in the Battle of Fort Henry. In 1899, the Spanish-American War, the Treaty of Paris, a treaty between the United States and Spain is ratified by the Senate. In 1900, the Permanent port of Court of Arbitration, an international arbitration court at The Hague, is created when the Senate of the Netherlands rat ratifies an 1899 peace conference decree. In 1918, so this happened 100 years ago today, British women over the age of 30 who meet minimum property qualifications, get the right to vote. There you go. 1919, the American Legion is founded. 1922, the Washington Naval Treaty is signed, limiting the naval armaments between the United States, Britain, France, Japan, and Italy. In 1951, the Canadian Army enters combat in the Korean War. 1951, also the broker, a uh, passenger train, derails off of Woodbridge Township in New Jersey. The accident kills 85 people and injures one or 500 more. The wreck is one of the worst disasters in American history. In 1952, 
Queen Elizabeth II becomes Queen of the United Kingdom and other realms of the Commonwealth upon the death of her father, George VI. At the exact moment of succession, she was up in a treehouse in Treetops Hotel in Kenya. 1958. Eight Manchester United players and 15 passengers are killed in a Munich air disaster. <clears throat> 1959. At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the first successful test firing of a Titan intercontinental ballistic missile is accomplished. 1976, in testimony before a subcommittee, Lockheed President Carl Chokin admits that a company paid out nearly $1 billion in bribes to the Office of Prime Minister of Japan. In 1978, the blizzard of 78, one of the worst nor'easters in New England history, hit the region, subsane winds of 65 degrees and snowfall of 4 inches an hour. 1987, Justice Marie Aragon um, is becomes the first woman to be appointed to the High Court of Australia. 1988, Michael Jordan makes his signature slam duck from the three throw line, inspiring Air Jordan and the Jumpman logo. It all started there, folks. 1989, the Round Table talks start in Poland thus marking the beginning of the overthrow of communism in Eastern Europe. 1986, Bonnier Flight 301 crashed on the coast of the Dominican Republic. All 189 inside the plane are killed. It is the worst accident incident revolving a Boeing 747. 1988, Washington National Airport is named Ronald Reagan National Airport, and in 2000, the Second Chinchin War, Russia capture, captures Grogny in Chechnya, uh, suffering or er, forcing the separatist Chechen government into exile. <clears throat> so we have a few births today. Princess of Portugal Joanna was born 1452. Mustafa II born 1664, and Queen of Great Britain born 16. 65. Aaron Burr, the third Vice President of the United States, born in 1756. Uh, John Stevens Henslow was born 1796. And as we go further down the list, folks, uh, we are going to find some wonderful people here who are still with us, and we'll find the oldest one here as we go along. Uh, Babe Ruth actually was born this day in history in 1895. Uh, that he's no longer with us, of course, but um, you know, kind of is what it is. There, Babe Ruth, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Uh, Robert Follett Jr., born this day 1895, American politician. Uh, very important if you read your history. Eva Braun, who was the German wife of Adolf Hitler, died 1945 in a bunker, but was born this day in history, 1912. You know, so she was only 33 when she passed away. And Ronald Reagan, also born this day in history, 1911, 40th President of the United States. Zsa Zsa Gabor was also born this day in history. Uh, actress and socialite, as it says, I think... For a lot of people, uh, she was a lot more of a socialite than, uh, than an actress. Uh, Dennis Orden is the oldest person still living today, 1922. He is 100, or he is 96 years old today. Uh, happy birthday to Dennis. Um, and that's awesome. All right, we go further down the list here uh, to find out that Rip Torn was born this day in history. Uh, Tom Brokaw was born this day in history. Um... Mike Farrell was born this day in history. Sarah Brady. Um, lots of really cool people. Jim Turner, born this day in history. Bob Marley so, would be celebrating his birthday today. Natalie Cole um, also would be celebrating her birthday today. Uh, Kathy and Jimmy, and her birthday day. Axel Rose, happy birthday to Axel. Rick Ashley, 
Uh, happy birthday to Rick. Um, have you been Rick Rolled ever? Well, there you go. Uh, Kim Zemeskel, born 1976, one of the greatest gymnasts of all time. Uh, gold medalist many times over. So, happy birthday to her as well. And we also have Tank. Tank's birthday today, folks. Teresa Scanlon, Miss America 2011. Uh, it is her birthday today, born 1993. All right, and a few deaths that I want to highlight today. Uh, of course, George the Sixth of the United Kingdom died this day in history, um, making way for Queen Elizabeth II to be the longest reigning monarch of all time. Uh, way before that, Pope Clement the Twelfth uh, died this day in history in 1740. Uh, very popular pope. Um, Looking further down the list here, folks, uh, we have Gary Moore, a singer-songwriter, died this day in history. Um, and Felco, uh, Rock Me Amadeus, and uh, just amazing musician, died in 1998. Arthur Ashe uh, died in 1993. Um, lot, lots of stuff going on there with Arthur Ashe. He's got... Um, the U.S. Open actually plays at the Arthur Ashe uh, Tennis Center, which I think is which is really cool. Um, a lot of other awards and stuff like that for him as well. And Frederick Coots, who was the 8th General of the Salvation Army, uh, died this day in history in 1986. Um, so it's Ronald Reagan Day, folks. It's Constitution Day. Uh, it's Sammy International Day. Uh, lots of really important days. This day in history, thanks for hanging out with the show. And we'll see you guys very soon on the scottshow.com.